a customer came in today with a flux cable that is broken in half. This flux cable belongs to a prototype and the customer has a presentation tomorrow. It's an urgent repair. Customer is paying for expedited service and I told him I'll do my best. Let's take a look. The customer already put captain tape under that flex cable to hold the cable in place. And the cable is broken off right at the corner, at the rounded corner. It would have been easier if it was broken off from here because right now we have to run wires in a circular motion. So it just adds a bit more to the difficulty. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Very tiny flux cable. It looks big under the microscope, but those wires, they are no more than 0.1 millimeters, maybe smaller. And I see a lot of wires within that cable. One, I mean, you can tell from the copper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It looks like we have 12 wires running through that flux cable. And the question is, how are we going to fix it? Is it fixable? Good question. Let me press down on that flex cable a bit to make it as flat as possible. And maybe we can secure that cable with captain tape. We secure it onto our bench so it does not move when we are working on it. Right now what I'm doing is I'm scraping with this round blade. What I do is I place this blade flat down on the cable and I scrape in a downward motion. And what's going to happen is the wires are going to get stripped, but not in between the wires because of the shape of that blade. If I tried to scrape with another blade, let's say this one here, it's not going to work. This will not work. So the round blade is a must. Awesome. <laughs> and for this repair, we're going to be using the NF dot mini pen with the knife tip right here, one of the best knife tips in the market. If you have not already purchased one, you can log into northwishfix.com. If you are in the same type of field or you are doing this as a hobby, it's a must have pen. Log into northwishfix.com, click on shop, add to cart. We sell everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, power supplies, flux, the blade that we used here, tweezers, the wire that we're gonna be using, this one here, the 0.1 millimeter wire, whatever we use on our bench, we carry and sell in our shop. Just log in, 
add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. All items are in stock, including this amazing microscope. One of the best microscopes in the market. You're not going to find anything as clear as this microscope. People always think it's about the sensor. Sensor, what type of sensor are you using? Sensor is part of the equation, but it's not the final image. There's a lot that goes on with the algorithm that makes out the image. We perfected this algorithm, and you can tell. Just compare our microscope to any content creator, and you'll see. The image is not blurred on the edges, on the corners. We have edge-to-edge -edge sharpness. Look at the precision on that knife tip. Now the flex cable is broken in half. One end is higher than the other end, and that's why you see one end is blurred and the other end is sharp. That's because one of them is shifting up. You see if I press down on that cable. And we are done. We restored all the broken lines. And those lines are super microscopic. They cannot be more than 0.1 millimeters. Right now, we're going to finish off by applying a solder mask. And we're going to call the customer to come and pick up tomorrow. Hopefully, that cable works for him. But we did tell the customer that there's a chance that this cable may not be fixable. Let's apply solder mask. And we're going to use our UV light.
and we are done. Wow, beautiful. I do not know if you're going to be able to see it on camera. And just imagine all those traces inside this flex cable. You cannot even see the wires with the naked eye. But of course, we need a microscope for this. So that's it. We are done. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.